Uh, there's one one uh, issue. I didn't understand your earlier question to cover this, but if it did, that if uh, over-the-counter derivatives is deemed to be clearable and the regulators through a public comment period have determined that it must be cleared, which is what's in the, st is the substitute, in that circumstance, there's a mandate that it must be cleared. If somebody knowingly doesn't follow that, what happens? And uh, uh, I, I believe the substitute right now uh, gives the SEC and CFTC a lot of authority, but if, if it, to be clarified to say that that transaction is unlawful seems consistent with actually what, what the intent is, that it's a mandate once you have this public comment period and it's a mandate, that it's a, it's a real mandate. But. Uh, I think part of this, and I you know, get into the details here, is that this, uh, some reading of these proposals would suggest that it goes, they go beyond that, saying that, in fact, if, if you have a, even as an exempt end user, an over-the-counter derivative that you present to a clearing platform and they won't clear it, then if, you, if you're in, entering that contract, then it's illegal. But I think